Hi everyone! Um, so I haven't done a video in ages. Um, I have refound some videos I put on my phone. Um, so I will be uploading them. As you can tell, I have done something to my hair. Um, this is going to be my video of how I'm doing my flame hair. Fingers crossed that it turns out really well. I'm also going to try, try my hand at editing as well because I have to do this in a couple of stages. Um, I have, yeah, I've bleached it. There are patches that I've missed. You can see sort of like the dark patches. Um, the ends are, are lighter or darker even. Um, I've dyed my hair so many different colours that um, I'm not surprised that the tips are a different colour. Um, I did quite a bit of research on the colours that I wanted to use um, because I'm going to be doing my flame hair. So the concept, we will see how it turns out, is it will be red on the top, going down to orange, and I'm going to leave a chunk probably about that big of kind of this blondy, and then it's going to be blue at the tips. So I will show you what I've used. Which is, excuse me. Oh, this is Stargazer's Bleach. Um, I did loads of research and loads of people recommended Stargazer's. I've used Manic Panic before, um, but I'd never used Stargazer before. And loads of people recommended Stargazer, saying that the colours were really vibrant. It made the hair feel really soft, um, which I love playing with my hair. It's kind of a nervous thing. I kind of tend to twiddle it and things so I play with it quite a lot so having a colour that kind of made my hair soft was quite important to me um, and that how long it lasts they were I think they were about £4.50 each um, I got the all the colours off um, Amazon and I got the bleach off Amazon this bleach kit was more expensive I think this was about £6.70 and it comes with the bottle of peroxide and two packets of bleach. I've got just below shoulder length hair. Um, I don't know what you call it, chest height, chest height hair. And um, it's, I would have preferred to have just a little bit more left over so I could have filled in some more bits. So you can see like, the root line is darker because I left that till last because I was a bit concerned. It's brand new hair, it hasn't got any colour on it, so I didn't want it to be too, too dark um, or too, too light because that would really damage the hair. It's virgin hair. You can see I've been watching a lot of YouTube videos because I've started to use the lingo. Yeah, the, the bleach and peroxide was, it actually smelled quite good considering that it was bleach. Um, I've had some really horrible ones and they've just, they've, oh man, they stank. Um, but as I said, this one wasn't too bad. It almost had sort of a lemony smell to it. Um, so it wasn't too unpleasant. As I said, I didn't feel that there was quite enough for the, the length of hair that I have. And I have thin hair. So I don't need a huge, a huge amount for it to get as white and, and to get as bleached as it does. Um, so I was a bit disappointed. I put it on for 25 minutes on my hair. It suggests sort of like 20 to 60 um, because I've got thin hair. I'm a bit can sort of like, I'm always a bit wary about sort of the development times with bleach. With colour, I don't care. I kind of keep them on as long as I feel like it. So it's about two, three hours, you know. I think that it's quite, it's a really good product. Um, you have to mix it yourself. And it says that it comes with a mixing bowl and a spatula. The spatula is a tongue depressor, it's a little bit of wood. I would get a few, but I left it in the bathroom. Um, and the mixing pot was tiny absolutely tiny so I didn't use that I ended up using a leftover plastic bowl that I've got use a, excuse the Americanism a Tupperware container if you want um, I just had a plastic kids bowl that I had left around from doing face painting um, that I just gave a bit of a rinse and that was fine and it had enough room for me to kind of mix everything in um, so this is my bleach I feel that I look a little bit like my friend Claire most of the times when I'm just doing a normal hair colour, not the, the what do they call them, fashion colours, um, I tend to use something called Colour Before, 
uh, color B, capital B, for, cap, you know, the number four. Um, it's really good. You have to read the instructions and you have to do what it says, otherwise it doesn't work. If you use henna on your hair, it doesn't work. But if you just use normal dyes, which is what I do because I like to change my mind all the time, um, it's brilliant because it takes all that color out of your hair and sort of like makes the color all even. Of course, if you've used bleach like I have, you end up seeing the bleach underneath. So you will have parts of your hair that will be lighter than before um, because you've altered the colour of your hair. That's your, and this is now, theoretically, my natural hair colour. It's not. I have mousy brown hair and I don't like it. So hence why I keep dyeing it. So that's the bleaching. You see? I'm quite impressed with it. So I've gone for, what's this one called? Golden Flame. Let's see. This is going to be the top section of my hair to probably about here, maybe a little bit longer. I'm trying to think how long my hair is. Yeah, probably about to here. It's going to be this golden flame colour. And then I'm going to use Dawn. So this is orange colour. And the last colour I'm using is Coral Blue. This is the one I'm a little bit worried about using with the other colours and I think I might just do literally just the tips. So we're doing a little, very little dip dye. I'm gonna try, I've seen a couple of people use this technique where you mix it with um, conditioner and it makes it into a, like a more of a pastel colour. Pastel, pastel colour. Um, too many YouTubers who are American, picking up the Americanisms. Um, so I'm going to try and sort of like do it with more of a pastel shade on the tips. Um, as my hair's kind of gone slightly orangey, I'm not sure how it's going to turn out. It should be fine. I've done blue on slightly orangey hair before when I've, I've um, bleached my own hair and dyed it. Okay, so I just reread the packaging on my hair dyes and it says that you have to apply it to wet hair. So it says shampoo your hair, do you not use conditioner shampoo and towel dry and then you basically apply the colour. So instead of waiting and I'll have to re like rewash my hair and it will work fast. I decided to do it now. So excuse my lighting, excuse my bathroom, excuse the noise because that's my extraction fan and um things that I have now found out about my hair dye is that they each come with a pack of gloves which is really handy because then I don't have to keep changing them. The only thing is is I will obviously have to keep um, washing my brush which is fine you know it doesn't bother me. Um I'm just gonna dry this a little bit. Um so stuck to my foot. Right so onward shall we
last bit, hopefully. Going on, yeah. Really low to get the back of my head. Ugh. This is so attractive. Ugh. These are the things you do not see in other videos. Ugh. Failing. You do not see enough fail in hair tutorial videos. Told you, it's all those sort of like annoyingly attractive women. Oh, come on. Break. Yeah. Okay. Right. That's me. I'm going to cook myself for approximately two hours. It says um, on the box to do it for 15 to 30 minutes. I always do at least double. Um, I'm going to do triple because I really want this colour to stick and be amazing. Um, so we'll see how it turns out. Okay, so this is the next day. Um, I have... I let it set for two hours and this is the result uh, it's not quite the flame hair I had imagined in my head it feels like more of a sunset kind of feel um, but I really like it um, you see my fear of the tips going more green was realized but I didn't I had such a tiny amount of it uh, it doesn't actually bother me and I think it goes quite well um, the orange has kind of gone down into the bit that I'd left um, which kind of makes it as I said it makes it look more sunsetty but I don't mind seeing this you can definitely see that it's orange compared to red so I really actually really like this really like it um sorry excuse the noise it's my bunnies they're uh happily chewing away on some cardboard so you saw me doing this and as that i'm really happy with it so um this is sort of like what i've got left of the stargazer i don't think it was quite up to the top i think it was probably up to there so it's you know it's a decent amount but there's loads left loads left um same with the orange um quite you know there's loads left blue because i hardly used any you can't actually tell that i've actually used any it's just slightly below this blue line um i'm really impressed with them really impressed with the color as i said i left it for two hours um because i just i i always do i wasn't doing anything i was just sitting around watching a tv cooking dinner um so yes this is the finished product it's not as soft as i was hoping but i just literally ran cold water through well warmish water through my hair um i didn't shampoo it and i didn't condition it so that's probably part of the problem um so I think it'll be when I wash it because these are so impermanent you don't want to wash your hair all the time because the colours will come out um it does on the, does this make me look even paler I'm not sure I like this bit though I always like this bit of my hair because it just always it, you cannot control this I have tried but uh no, I prefer it out. um so yeah it's not as soft as I was hoping and as you can see i missed the blue of pretty much this entire side but that's because i was sort of like i brought it all the way over here so it didn't actually reach the level that i was painting i think it was only like a little bit actually got it um but i don't mind um so i could probably redo the bits of the blue and make it blue if i wanted to but i'm not that person i actually as i said i quite like it it's very sunsetty um you won't see anyone else walking around with this let's put it that way um which is kind of the reason i wanted to do it because um i don't know if it's just me but every time i seem to dye my hair a color i then see everybody with the same color so if i dye my hair brown it seems that everyone dyes their hair brown if i dye my hair red everyone seems to dye their hair red if i dye my hair purple all of a sudden i see loads of people with purple hair am i a fashion god I don't think so, strangely enough, but it was something, I don't know, maybe it's because I, I then have that hair colour that I notice people with that hair colour more. Probably a psychological, bro, you know, thing going on. Um, but yes, I like, me likey, me likey. 
Um, so that is it. As I said, if you've got any questions, um, if you want me to do anything else, if you actually enjoyed me randomly gibbering at you, I still haven't decided if I'm going to speed that little bit up, but you guys will know if I actually put this up. But uh, I really like my hair. <laughs> so, oh, it's a fabulous, fabulous darling. Um, oh dear. Okay, so I will see you guys next time. I'm not sure when, I'm not sure why, but I will do another video at some point. Okay, see you later. Bye!